come Santa Claus, here come Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Dixon and Dixon and all his reindeers pulling on the reins. Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. So hang your stockings and say your prayers, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. He's got a bag that's filled with toys for boys and girls again. All right, testing, testing. There we go. Welcome in, everybody, SRA Nation. This is Division 2, Season 5, Round 4 at Masano. The rain clouds are here. They are dropping water on the track as we speak. Guys are getting ready for their quality laps here. Back again, joined with Dominic Duran and Waleed Sadat. How are you guys doing? Oh, another... Another spicy Wednesday night. I don't know if these guys in the chat can hear me. If they could and give an indication of it, that'd be great. And uh, I, for one, am glad to be done with this wet race and have it behind me. Trying to keep on pushing. Now we get to watch D2 struggle. Chat confirming they do hear you, Dominic. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So we're already starting off on a good foot. <laughs> All righty. Yeah, welcome everyone to Season 5. Race four, D two, at a wet Misano. This is this is going to be a fun one. Um, dominated by low grip and track limits. Uh, everyone's just driving to survive here. Except for the Porsches. no trademark. The Porsches have an unfair advantage. <laughs> yeah. Particularly coming out of. Uh, turn 10 and uh, turn 8. It's wild. Yeah, driving to Speaking of action too early, quick update on the standings. Here are the team standings. Moving on to driver standings. And now jumping out onto track. So we're running the same uh, quality format as usual, 10-minute splits. Uh, silver drivers in this division go out for the first 10 minutes, and then gold drivers will head out for the next 10, and we're currently halfway through the silver split. And uh, Peter Reynolds is currently sitting on provisional pole with a 141.6, and he's well ahead of the next car, who's Diego Navarro. Oh, and now it's uh, Ryan Walker in, with a 142.0, so... We'll see how these times progress. I don't know uh, 
I don't have a g- great idea of what these guys should be shooting for with this level of wet, because um, you know it does vary quite a bit in ACC. And then better, better track than the guy behind them. Exactly, exactly. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> and track evolution's even uh, even more prevalent in wet weather conditions here. So, is, uh, so we'll see how this off. advances. Teleports back to pits. Currently sitting in pole for the silver division with a one forty one six which immediately tells me this track is much drier than the D4 race yesterday. Not as dry as the D1 race. We had a full dry optimum track for qualifying, which made things pretty interesting. Oof. He made Doug, uh, we loaded in, he said, do you have a dry setup? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was, it was fun. It was actually... Um, it was very interesting practicing in the wet all week and then being handed a dry track to have to maneuver. So it's definitely a scramble and uh, definitely a lot different finding those breaking points in the dry again. Yeah, especially yeah, going the... through qualifying, these deltas can sometimes be massive and it's always fun to watch, see who's going up. Like we jumped a cran, now he's almost six tenths up on his lap time coming into the last corner. That'll put him P2 on the board for the Silver Division currently. Oh, Cran getting all bent out of shape in the corner. You can start. I bet we're going to be seeing a lot of that. There's, there's a lot of this. Um... It is, I would, I'd call it light rain at most. And you see guys who get kind of ambitious on the throttle here. It's kind of deceiving. Um, if it's not raining too hard, you really you really push even harder. Much easier to get goaded into a mistake, thinking you have the grip, and then finding out you, in fact, do not have the grip. Exactly. Dan Cran's about almost two seconds down on his delta so do we have anyone who's seriously performing here i see curtis lee down in p18 he's he's about six tenths up but that's about it not many people are improving that's yeah. smally in the picture in picture up six and a half almost seven tenths on his lap this is going to jump him up quite a bit here the, the Deltas here are playing a game. You see a flash of red, then a flash of green as people try to come to terms with what they can do in what corner, gaining a huge amount of time, losing a huge amount of time. Oh, Smalley's improvements took him up to P4. Seems like that Honda is real fast, but speaking from what I saw last night, the Honda can also be a very dangerous car in the wet, especially around here. We're trying to toss it in there. Likes to be driven hard, but finding that balance in the rain is very dangerous. Okay. okay. Got the stream. Just double checking some stuff. Got Robbie Toddy with one corner to go up about five tenths on his lap. This is going to jump him up a couple spots, I think. There we go, from P13 to P7. Good improvement there from Robbie Toddy. We got Walker, who snagged a provisional pull from Mr. Peter Reynolds. So provisional pull is now sitting at a 41.5. Still on board with, with Curtis Lee here, and... His beloved Lexus. Which looks good in any weather condition, any setting. Curtis is currently five, six tenths up on his time, so to me he doesn't invalidate the last corner. He does get a little wide, but it's alright, he keeps it within bounds. And that will improve him probably to P okay, only one spot, P seventeen. Uh, apologies to the stream. I had to tweak a setting real quick. Hopefully everything should be all kosher now. Just let me know if anything needs adjusting. Let's 
We jump over to Fickert, who's up a tenth and a half on his time. So if they uh, want to get in their last laps, hopefully they need to start across the start finish line now because gold drivers will now head out to start their splits. We have any uh, we have any early predictions for pole position? Shots in the dark, if you will. I did see Eric Boardman's time in practice, and he was well ahead of the competition. And uh, I think in the practice race, he also did pretty well. I'd like to see Mr. Boardman put it on pole, put together a race for us to watch here. I'm gonna say uh, Mr. Kovacs because I'm just doubling down on the uh, the Porsche comments I made earlier. The advantage that they're gonna have in the traction zones. Kevin's a fast driver too. I wouldn't put a pass and put it on pole either. Oh, this is tough. This is a tough call. I want to put. I'm gonna put. Mr. Michael Jeffries on pole tonight. A big man. I'm having technical issues. One second. Coach Jeffries Academy. Not the best predictions on track or off track, but great performances on track. Uh, he picked me to win the silver division of D1 last night, and I let him down. So add that to his counter of uh, lost picks there, but. I did finish all right. You know, didn't he, see, uh, who, who do you, who do you have winning tonight in D2? Remember? I don't know. Let's see. Did we did we pin it? I hope we did. No, we didn't. I will find it though. No worries. Looking for the gold drivers entering into sector three, getting ready to start their first flyers. Where the heck are the Coach Jeffries Academy's predictions? Oh, there we go. All right. For D2 Gold, Coach Jeffries Academy prediction series has Josh Damiani. Ooh. And for D2 Silver, we have the goaded Austin Sawyer. Oh, okay. I like those picks. I do too, actually. I think they're reasonable with just a hint of unpredictability. So how are we looking on those so far? It looks like those guys haven't completed a lap yet. Oh no, sorry, Sawyer. Sawyer's in P17 at the moment, so it's gonna take, gonna take an act of God for him to uh, <laughs> beat 16 guys in front of him, but Let's see what Mr. Damiani can do. Currently, we're on board Boardman. Boardman leading the pack for the gold drivers. Got Koadromo in the chat, shouting out the Badmans. That's um, right. The enemy. Proving that quantity can sometimes trump quality. Mm-hmm. jump in and start seeing the times mix up a little bit. Uh, the top goal driver currently Colin Shea and I believe it's top by Mishi setting a 142.2 although the track has gotten wetter through qualifying it looks like. Oh interesting it has. It keeps ramping up. Who's on a, who's on a blister in the lap? It still reads damp but wow okay that might this might generate uh might generate quite the race here. I think it also throws a wrench in the Coach Jeffries Academy predictions. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with these, but. <laughs> Maybe we'll get another freaking Academy Award winning monologue from 
Coach Don't Jeffries please, himself this week. Please. I love that. <laughs> that was legendary. Uh, chat, we are aware of the driver delta overlay, and uh, we are checking. We are checking. That crown is half a second up on his time, coming into the hairpin at sector three. No, sector one, going on the straight. Every hairpin at this track sucks. No, I was right. It is sector three. It was. It was. Oh, baby. Who do we have up on their laps? Nick Wagner and Russell Allen are challenging to get P4, I'd say, but really nobody's coming close to that P1 spot. Almost a reverse grid, a reverse grid qualifying in effect. Putting all the gold drivers at the back just for the drama. In a sense, in a sense. We got Mr. Matt Lehman in the chat. I think that's Matt Lehman. He says for once the gold driver has got worse conditions. Yeah, this might be the first. Yep. In, God, how many races across <laughs> all divisions all season. This might be the first time the silver drivers don't get shit conditions to qualify in. Well, not that they get bad conditions, but, you know. Not as ideal conditions. Sure, sure, exactly. To that note, no one's really improving. There's a couple guys at 10th up. Nothing except for Mr. Crown here up four tenths. I mean, you can see it on your screens. The range is getting heavier and heavier. And you can see if, if this qualifying were to go on, it would get it would progressively warm. Get that little plus by the by the uh, rain cloud up in the top right of your screen. So let's see. Finishes out his lap. Ooh, getting a little wide out there. Kind of getting a little bent out of shape, scrubbing off a little bit of time. What does that promote him? It's P16. A316. Uh, I will say for Misano, uh, the entry curbs are takeable, but the curbs on the exits are a nightmare. Lose all your traction, send the car sideways. He definitely had an issue on the exit of that final corner. That's interesting, because we're, we're running the same car, and I, I actually have the opposite experience. Really? Yeah, I found like, especially braking. Okay. So not like, I mean, turn in was all right, but under braking could not touch a curb here. I feel like there's not a lot of braking to be done on the inside curbs, although. No, nah, that's true. To be fair, you are much faster than me, so that might that might be the secret sauce there. <laughs> oh, not last night, my friend. Not <laughs> last night. <laughs> Now you know what? Maybe you probably just you get a lot of wheel speed on the exit curves here, um, since they're so slick. Got so it's just it's not worth. And then the yeah, other, you might lose traction. About a quarter second up on the time, coming down the back straight out of turn ten. But he's bleeding time down the entire straight. Probably didn't get a good mix. Chat saying D Cran for top Lexus. Structures fight going on here in the chat apparently. And his teammate, um, Blood F. Are they both supposed to be the top Lexuses? They can only be one. Is it Lexuses they or is it Lexi? Lexi? Lex I like Lexi. <laughs> but at that point, why don't you just say Lexi? Uh, no, 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 that's wrong. I got nope. it. Nope. Reel it back. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> we jump in with Mr. Boardman, who's having a nightmare of a qualified session so far. Just every time we jump to him, we're right on the timetable. Russell Allen putting on what seemed to be heater, and now not quite. He's only. A little under a tenth up on his time as he makes it through. Oh boy, I'm not versed on my turn numbers here. I'm not versed on a lot of things here. But 
he is still a little bit under a tenth. Yeah, well, that'll be uh, that'll be 11, 12, 13. This complex here. Oh, the back straight, yeah. And then see if he can get some car turned in nice and easy. Yep, pretty Those much. Those kinks in the straight counting his corners really bothers me. With the last and worst hairpin gets the car rotated nicely. Now got to get it wide to the right and lift a little bit to get the car turned into the next left hander. Fun, that's a fun left hander right there. And this oh, is also yeah. another from left-hander. You can get, grab a lot of the curve, but it looks like Russell doesn't want any of it, and he probably invalidated right there. He did. And so he's going to stick P4. Let's see. The only person still on a flyer is Choka. The only, the only person that's still on a flyer that's positive is up a tenth and a half. Coming out of turn 10. See if we can get the power down to the Honda. Honda power, baby! <laughs> All the VTEC. All of it. Kunos, please nerf. Please. I'm unbiased. Psych. I'm very biased. <laughs> if you're biased, <laughs> then I have to be biased. <laughs> Bring balance to the to the commentating team. Freely express my hatred. Evans out here in his god tier wet weather Aston. Yeah, it all makes sense now why you were so much faster than me when you were in the Aston Duran. In the wet. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, yeah. No, in that car, uh, yeah, it, well, you were faster than me everywhere, but especially in the wet. The Aston is a cheat code. Oh, it's it feels so good. It is so planted and the TC is so good. You just mash the gas and absolutely nothing happens. It just goes. All I'm doing donuts at the end of, uh, the end of his qualifying stint. Alrighty, so that's quali. Top Actually, three silvers. Yeah, really interesting. The uh, the gold drivers didn't get a lot done. They're uh, they're very interwoven with uh, silver drivers. So we'll see how this goes now that everybody's on track at the same time, given the same conditions. I know it's. It's good racing here, but it is also very hard to pass, and uh, being that it's in the wet, it's going to be pretty risky trying to send anything too hard. I'm going to guess some of these silver drivers up front are going to be able to hold off these gold drivers, and it's going to be uh, a little spicy towards that pit window. I'm imagining we're going to see a lot of alternate strategies for sure. Rain does look consistent for the first half of the race, at least, so there might not be any spiciness with that. But off the start, are you guys uh, in the wet? Are you a first gear or a second gear takeoff kind of person? Always first, first gear. All day. Never second. No. Definitely. <laughs> definitely a are you a second gear? Did you just, did you just out, out yourself as a second gear starter? No, 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 no. Second I gear beta? Gear. But I will say, there are some people in front of me in some of these races where... I sit there and go, why are you why are you driving so slow? I've done it before, but not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> not on purpose. <laughs> and then you wonder why your launch is just ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, say off the takeoff here, I found pretty consistently that the fifth meter board is a pretty solid braking marker. So we'll see how uh, how the pack bunches up around that going into turn one. Starting. Quick shout out to Peter Reynolds who said he was going to snag pole tonight and he fell short. Um, he's brought shame to the plan E name, but not any more shame than we've already brought upon ourselves. So, it is forgiven. Is there a, is there a specific me in the we that you uh, feel concerned about, Dominic, in plan E? There races? is a... <laughs> Is that redundant? A specific me? <laughs> uh, go back and watch the indie stream, guys. Let, maybe race. not. Maybe not. We're trying <laughs> to we're trying to call history history and never <laughs> open that book again. <laughs> Could have been worse. Could have been wet. I think it was pretty worst. Worst case. I mean. Well, we'll leave it there. Yeah. God, this is a long, long time for the formation lap. Yeah, exactly. 
Alrighty, looking like we've got a decent amount of... And a decent amount of rain on screen. God, that... That track looks good. It looks quite wet. I'd like to point out, I caught a Porsche there in the back disappear at the end of the countdown. That's Al Latufo, it looks like, forgot to hit drive, so he's starting from the pit lane. Wolf. Maybe not a bad move, but at the same time, he was already at the back of the pack, so... Just adding a little bit of extra work for him to catch back up there. Well, if he was all the way at the back, I guess you, you take the gamble and avoid any incident. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can just lift and coast in there real easy. Have nobody behind you. Not a lot of risk there, but... I'm gonna guess he just made a mistake and... Got distracted and missed the drive button in time. So, we'll have Claire to keep an eye on him. Ferrari go through each other and I believe that's how Lamborghinis are made. What are you guys' thoughts on the no, the no contact child? in the uh, in the formation lab? Um, thank you, Kunos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's one less lap I need to worry about. <laughs> I still try to respect others during the lap, but I'll tell you, as soon as it says line up double file, I'm flying. I don't care what's on track. I'm taking the racing line to get to my spot. <laughs> So thank God, uh, thank God there's ghosting on the formation <laughs> lab, otherwise it'd be a oh, mess. I yeah. try oh, that's, that's a crash. That's a oh, who'd we have? connection issue that I have to... Oh, <laughs> I, th I thought somebody lost it. <laughs> <laughs> we got a crash stream side, not track side. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know why I'm having, I'm, I'm having issues with the, uh, with the SRA servers. <laughs> We are back in action. Well, at least you're quick with it. D unfortunately, I uh, I was running in P5 in uh, the race yesterday, and then had the same issue disconnected. I was very unhappy. Oof. Oh. That's brutal. Yeah, so we're hoping for better luck for these guys out here. Okay. As we head towards the start finish line, waiting for the green lights to go out. Green light. go, go, go. And that's the start of the race. It's off and away at SRA. Thank you. Shout out Paul A for that, that term. Looks like we're clean going into turn one. Oh, not quite. Not quite. One dead. One dead in the back, but Ryan Walker retains the lead going through the first sector. Uh, Peter Reynolds close on his tail. We got. We got some spicy position swapping a little bit down the field. Uh, but these guys look like they're pretty comfortable up front. Ooh, we got a little bit of scrapping going on in the first complex of turns. Everybody oh, goes no, wide. Oh, major. and we have oh, carnage. No. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, good Safety God. Safety car, safety car. Oh. Wow, so many cars there caught up. Uh, it seemed like that was multiple different incidents, like, not even just one leads into the other, I was just... At one point there on race control, I had yellow flag for P28 through 40. That is Absolute dumpster fire. As this top five managed to get away clean and it's starting to build a gap, P1, P2 making a bit of their own gap, and then 3, 4, 5 in their own little, their own little battle right behind them. Wow, they're really spaced out now. That uh, that that probably creates a huge gap um, between. Let's see. Wow, my race control is messed up. What the heck is happening here? Uh, actually, the gaps are still about reasonable, I'd say. So nobody lost a huge chunk of time other than the guys that spun. Jumped P19. The huge gaggle of cars exiting onto turn 10, or out of turn 10 onto the straight. Is that turn? That's not turn 10. Oh, it's this on <laughs> The classic Masada dilemma. <laughs> Everything looks the same. Where are we? Oh, God.
on, is it the start finish straight? <laughs> clearly, clearly well qualified to be a commentator for SRI right here. I know exactly what's going on. As uh, Kovac ma does make the move stick on Roger, it gets the Porsche past the AMG. I will say the traffic train for SRA look exceptionally good every season. Like we harp on how good some of these liveries look, they all look fantastic. Oh yeah. Such a treat to see them come down the streets. Yeah, now that they've got themselves sorted out and out of the 2 by 2s now they can, uh, <laughs> they can avoid a brawl and just fight one-on-one. -on -one. Update, Crown, Morris, and Smalley all in the pits, so I imagine they came off worse after that incident. So we see yellow flags, Petrovic and Roger coming together. Are they two, I believe the two teammates. Team Everett. orders coming into play a little too early here. Multi-21, multi-21. Except everyone loses. Jumping back to Walker in P1, him and Reynolds, P1, P2 have definitely extended out their gap in you know, two seconds, a little over two seconds to P3. That's Walker put in a monster lap. 142.6 is our current fastest lap. Looks like uh, he... It's early. It's early to... Early days. I don't know if I should be calling this, but... Looks like Walker might be running away with it here. Potentially. Uh, we didn't see in the D4 race P1 spin when they were 16 seconds ahead of the pack. So anything's no, possible. no. Anything's possible. That's disaster. What's probably even more likely, too, is drive throughs Oh, absolutely. It was a it's a nightmare. Yep. Yep. For those in the track un or in the chat unaware, there is a particular set of corners, I believe it's 13, 12, 13, 14 in that range. If you cut a corner, it'll give you two corner cuts for the price of one. You can go from two warnings to drive through very quickly. This also must be the only track where you can As Cran go off. In. Oof. Ah, uh, yeah, he got offline. Yeah, offline, no grip. Slotson loses P4 and is now driving to P18. It's not a huge loss. No damage. But not ideal. Yes, sir. What we got? We got Doug Lee. Right on the back of Diego Navarro there. Pushing him through the corners. Damn near. Damn near. He might, uh, he might get a chance soon to show off those BMW brakes. But he's under pressure. What a disaster. Oh god. Get a chance to show off his brakes. If you put commentator's curse out there, it's just it's reverse psychology. It won't actually happen. Exactly. Uh, so, what do you guys think in your experience? What are the passing zones here at Masana? In the wet. Turn one. Turn... Is it four? Ooh. Um... Coming into the hairpin on like the front stretch, is that seven or eight? Eight, yes. It's Kovac sends it up the inside oh, and gets no. punished for it. Double pirouette. That was perfectly synced. <laughs> and some door banging. Oh man. Welcome to the German ballet. There was something else that happened behind them as well. There's another car in the grass that I didn't quite catch. Bunch of cars going off. Choka. Choka teleports. Choka. Interesting. He just drove off the track and parked it. Not gonna lie, thought thought I was lacking again. Thought I was getting disconnected. But no, back to the pits. So we jump in with Shay Jeffries and who is that behind? Uh, sorry, Je Jeffries, Flo, and Shay coming into the kink. No, Koa, it was not too late for commentator curse. <laughs> <laughs> it's never too late. The Wait, it's always our you. fault. <laughs> so 
battling it out for P15. A similar fight going up, going on up ahead for P10. Jump to that fight. A little bit of a train going on here. Now the Lexus is oversteering in the drive. I can't imagine driving in the rain. And yeah, either. it's uh, it's got the sound going for it, I guess. <laughs> yep. No further comment. I feel like the commentator's cursing now. I gotta jump between cams and you know get off drivers quickly, lest they lest they suffer. So we'll jump to Bonu coming down in a fight with uh, LF and contact, and LF gets spun and okay. That's that's a hundred percent on you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I gotta hold that one. Um, Who you want to spin next? <laughs> <laughs> I just feel bad now. It's only been eight minutes, and we've murdered like a quarter of the field. Well, you did say this was a drive to survive kind of situation, and uh, I don't think even you thought how right you'd be. Everyone's dying. Sweet jump. Elbows out. Doug Lee. Yeah, Diego, Diego and uh, Cran fighting it out. This little group here with Jason Allen bringing up the rear in that, again, gorgeous planty Ferrari. So last time we saw this little trio, I think Diego was actually in front of Doug Lee, and then I saw a brief yellow flag for Diego, so he might have gone off somewhere, and that must have been when Doug snagged the position off of him. Very easy to do. Again, touch and exit curb, and it's just spinning tires. 100%. 100%. Yellow flag, back of the grid. Someone's fallen. Oh Jesus! What oh, have big, I, what have I come into? Carnage. Oh, so, oh God! Oh, Super Dave, Super Dave. Oh spinning. no! <sighs> Super Dave doing donuts. Yeah, the the Aston is a cheat code, huh? It's a great wet weather vehicle. Super oh, no. first drivers of all levels. Oh my God! As Shay has an incident with Fredrickson, they're both off the track. To be fair, that one's not me cursing the drive. I saw the yellow flags and jumped to the incident. I want to be very clear and clear my name ahead of time. I had nothing to do with that. As we look at the picture in picture and see cars backwards, cars sideways, cars perpendicular. They hit a 15 second replay and Colin Shea is just now getting going again. That one was oh, rough oh. for him. Unfortunately, gets back going right in the pack, which Right after you spin, the last thing you want to be is around other cars. Yep. Trying to assess the damage and new driving dynamics with the uh Yeah, or at least the like extra... cool down your tires or something. Oh yeah. Move up the inside guess... by the Merc who goes oh, deep. Oh god, it's slippery. Wow, a little too much speed coming in there. I gotta dial it back a little bit, find their breaking points again. Holy cow, we're flying everywhere. Yep. While all this is happening, I'm checking in with Walker, who's pulled nearly a three second gap on Reynolds in P2, just walking away, minding his own business. And then a Harry further. Deegan. Oh, sorry. No, and then a further six second gap from Reynolds to P3. I got Dirty Deegan in chat saying that you have a full grid of GT3 voodoo dolls and then you're just smashing them together on your end. <laughs> like a symbol monkey. Just bang, bang, <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see who's next. Uh, well, if we jump to Monu, Kovac, oh, and Gardner. <laughs> I just almost witnessed another murder. Jeez. Hello, Code Brown in the pit. Oh yeah. Kovac just I can see on the brakes has like has the braking advantage on everyone in front of him, but every time he sticks his nose in, so far he's gotten punished for it. But it looks like he got a much better drive out of turn seven onto the straight. Can he make the move stick around the outside of the turn eight? Gets him on the brakes. Doesn't Ooh, have is the hair grip on, on the inside. Yeah, exactly. And all the grips on that inside line, but it looks like he actually has a half decent run there. And Again on the outside. I found at turn 10 in particular, pace. all the traction's on that inside. You have to cut in. Which he does. Ooh, Gets the switchback. This is the bumper. Does he get it done? Oh, this is where the Porsche just dogs him. Yeah. The Porsche versus Audi, and look at the Audi just, just walk away. 
to see Fully cleared him. by the kink. If, the, if we were in Louisiana, he'd be in the bayou. Because that shit was by you. <laughs> oh, Buddy does. Oh, oh, gets back inside on the brakes. Just at such a huge disadvantage down the two big straights on this track that there's not much you can do. I I would say in clean air he probably has the pace, but this is why when I played the F1 games I spec into no drag and all straight line speed. Pass me. Luca Loco asks in chat what happened to Chilcut. Uh, I think he he went off. He had a yellow flag. He teleported to the pits and say la vie. Say la vie. I don't. He is no longer in the server. Straight to the shadow realm. Honestly, it happens. Spun and done. Yep. True words never spoken. <laughs> Jump to Queso and never mind. Queso and Damiani. Close by each other. This is the closest fight we got on track. It kind of looks like it. Uh, Kovac is still, you know, doing his thing. Oh, Kovac and Gardner in the lead. Yeah, they're having a little through at battle for P23, P22. Uh, of that update of the leader, Walker has pulled a four second gap to P2 Reynolds, and Reynolds has a seven second gap to Allen P3. Wow. Very lonely up there at the top. Allen has Wagner about half a second behind him. They're fighting for third, but other than that, just big over second gaps. As Molyneux does go wide, and Kovac finally gets past him. It immediately puts at least five or six cars in between them. Pulls out a two and a half second gap through sector three. Jump to Ficker, Bartella, and Scott. They're coming out of the first straight, all within half a second of each other. Botello was right on Ficker and just made a little mistake early in sector one, but he's starting to close back in. Inside move. Oh, is that Dan Cran with them? Wait, there's two Lexuses there, no? Uh, I did see blue yeah. flags coming onto the straight to begin with. Uh, out of oh, seven. that must be Matt Morrison. Yep, that must be Matt Morrison in the back there. As uh, DJ Watts has apparently had an incident at some point, has lost three positions. Yellow flag. DJ Watts! DJ! Big fight going on here between two Lexi. Plus, his cars on track within a tenth of each other. Is that Blood F? Yes. On the back of Curtis Lee. Little Lexus on Lexus action. Looks like they're pretty, pretty dead even. It doesn't look like. Uh, well, it's pushing him too hard here, but I don't know. I'm oh. Not in. oh, we got a big spin on the pit. Robbie Toddy and Petrovich both throwing yellow flags here. Let's see what happened. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Spinala. Yeah, that's a... I'm sure we'll see a ticket for that. That was a punt, but they're both going. I was actually just going to comment how we haven't seen many big punts. It's more like... Uh, Slipping a little bit in the in the wet conditions and kind of just giving people love taps. Yeah, way more self-inflicted injuries than homicides for sure. Yeah, true. Yep. true, true. That's a good way to put it. Alrighty, I wonder who's nursing three track cuts oh, already. Oh, oh God, self-spin. Uh oh. Speaking of self-inflicted injuries. that oversteer. Well, that was our All closest right. fight. <laughs> we'll tie it up here at the front. Battle for P3. Wagner closing in on Russell Allen. 
Is that the uh, the the medieval art Lexus? Yep. Oh, medieval Renaissance future. Can't even put a time period on it. Hot dogs are forever. I feel like the Ferrari is running in fear. I would be too, man. I mean, Wagner is a tank in the Lexus. Uh, he's put together a great season so far already in that car. Russell does manage to pull a little bit of a gap and then gets pulled right back in in the braking zone. These front engine cars in their braking performance, they're not the best, but they're very, very solid. Although it does look like Russell got a much better line coming out of turn 10? No, turn 7. This night will forever be us guessing turn numbers. <laughs> the track is upside down, like in orientation. It's very strange. So we jump to Queso and Damian and fight him down the straight. Does the Aston have what it takes to get in front of the uh, in front of the Honda there? It does. Big old lunge, but it is good. And he actually covers off. Damian, he's driving like he's found the amount of grip that the Aston has and he trusted. Wow, he just tried. Oh, but he goes a little bit wide, shaves off that gap slightly. There's no traction out there. But there's no move to be done here until 11 12. Like the Kinks, there's, there's nothing doing. No, and I, I'd imagine for the. Oh, God, is that a Lexus go? Oh, off road, off road, WRC. <laughs> is that. Who is in that Lexus? Uh, that's got to be a back marker. Um, that makes sense. Is that double T again? I think it might be. He's getting lost screen time today. Whoa. Oh, and that's yep. that's we're in the we're in the paddock. We're jumping back into the stream. Give me a second. Apologies for the, the difficulties. We've teleported to the paddock. I've I've never had server issues before in SRA. I figure out why this happened. Do we have a, do we have a server guy? Um. Yeah, if you pray hard enough, and if you ping him enough times. He'll answer. Just at server guy? No, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I can't bother him. Angry when None of us him. can. <laughs> treat the uh, the occasional disconnect as a quick commercial break. Exactly, exactly. Take a breather. Because we still got 39 minutes left in this thing. So plenty of action to be had. Plenty of pit stop chaos. Plenty uh, of drivers to be served. Update uh, on the leaders. Reynolds has extended his gap from P3 to 8 seconds. And Walker in P1 has extended his gap to 6.5 seconds. Just uh, running in his own air. <laughs> Although, you know, a McLaren doing hot laps is a little boring, we're going to jump to someone else, where's some action going on on track. A couple cars here in that 15, 16, 17, 18 range. All within half a second. Led by Mr. Flo. Then followed by Jeffries and Hartman. A very patriotic Mercedes. Yeah, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like anybody's pushing here. It kind of just looks like they're all vibing. Um, I mean, when you when you've seen things, you know, you uh, tend to relax as you, as you experience tragedy. If, if I'm Michael Jeffries, <laughs> I'm trying to. Well, that wasn't Michael Jeffries that ran off it, was it? That was, uh, it was not. That was Paulie. That was Mr. Hart. He probably got a track out of that, knowing how cruel this game is. If you go out wide out of seven, it doesn't matter if you fully come off the throttle. You're getting a track cut. Oh yeah, it's the the mini sector set up there is ridiculous. Who knows? Please fix. 
feel like the track limits are even stricter in the wet, too. I believe it. Just kidding those things. Rombo and Jeff are just trying to run down flow down the back straight. I'd be terrified going through this last corner here at the end of the back straight if I was in a Mercedes or a, or a uh, Honda. I mean, or anything, really. Yeah, you get too much speed in and it, that thing is just, uh, that thing's a merry-go-round. Chad's saying we need, we need another podium interview from Jeffrey, so what I think I I, has to be done is I have to start just flicking for the drivers ahead of him and putting him on stream for about 30 seconds. <laughs> together. We'll have plenty of race time to make something happen in that regard. Coming up, minutes. Pit yeah, come up to the pit window soon. Yep, getting ready to open. Less than two minutes left. Probably a lap and a half, two left. We'll start diving in. Oh man! Holly getting real close to Jeffries. Giving him the pillow talk. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't make it any further than that because <laughs> this is racing, not sodomy. Uh, whoa. Aston behind him makes a lunge up the inside. Boardman gets a position for Kish and then immediately has to give it back. Gap at the top boys. continues to expand. Reynolds seven and a half behind Walker for the race lead, and Allen nine and a half behind Reynolds for P2. I think those three are staying out as long as possible. Oh, absolutely. If you are the guys in this train, in this pack that are currently on screen, what's the move? How confident are you that you're faster than the car in front of you? Oh, you have to be. Uh, I'm thinking. Keep your eyes on the rear bumper of the guy in front of you. And if he stays out, you're going in. If he goes in, you're staying out. You have to, have to, have to do the opposite. Have Unless to. Unless Wally disconnects and then we all go in. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look, man, I, was just, right, I, thought yep. the, I thought the pit window was open. I wanted to get everyone in. We all go in. <laughs> yeah, so Sorry, all folks. Pit lane's closed. <laughs> There we go, pit window is open, and Wagner pulling alongside Russell Allen for P3. The Allen's going to have the inside. Oh, but it gets a little loose on that inside curb trying to get the power down. So Wagner takes P3 coming into the pit window here. I think if you're Russell here, you dive into the pits. I think you know you're faster. You either dive in now or you save it to the very, very end. Koa encouraging the commentators, Chris, on everyone to get Jeffries into a podium position. I'll, I'll do what I can. We jump to Sawyer and Gardner side by side. So they will be holding their, holding their lines jump back to Jeffries before we had a huge disconnect. There's still five cars covered by a blanket, pretty much. Nobody headed into the pits just yet. No one wants to be the God. first guy. Oh, take it back. D Michael Jeffries, into the pits. Going for that spicy undercut. Oh, boy, avoids. Actually, it doesn't do anything to avoid contact. I think that's Eric Boardman who avoided contact with, with uh, Jeffries there, I think. Maybe Eric had practiced his pit stop or pit lane entry a little bit more than Mr. Jeffries did. Um, he carried the speed all the way to that line. Imagine the scenes if you bump someone and they get a drive through 30 or stop going 30 for uh, excessive speeding in the pit lane. I've done that to somebody before and I felt awful about it, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, dude, that's a gigabrain move. 
if you really want to be dirty, that's definitely a way to do it. Just follow the guy in and just punt him across the line. See you later. <laughs> I don't know. I remember I I knew the brake marker for coming in solo and you just barely get it stopped in time for the line. And uh, I really wasn't thinking and uh, considering I had somebody right on my bumper who was going to do the exact same thing. And uh, Wait, so I gave him the lightest tab. You bumped them. No, I, I did the bumping. Oh, OK. And uh, I I. I pushed him over the line, over that limit, and when we came out, I saw the penalty, and I felt terrible. Wait. Wait. Have we earned enough channel points to do accents? I think that was handled. That would happen. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Thank perfect. God. We heard Doug speak in a Russian accent, and badness. As Diego goes a little deep. Ooh. Dan Cran has a look that thinks better of it and sticks behind. Trust will get another opportunity pretty soon here. I will say, very, very clean racing to the point where we have no penalty yet. No drive -throughs. Stop goes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You almost spoke it into existence there, Dan. Uh, <laughs> Dan almost gave Jefferson a little the tap to the quarter panel. I'm trying to do it for the people. As that whole train of Damiani, Kish, uh, Kobash, Hartman, they're all coming into the pits. They're coming out of the pits now. Coming out. In the pits together. Yeah, coming out of the pits is like a whole lap in and of itself. What is with this season of SRA and just ridiculously long pits? Um, that's that's just how the cookie crumbles, man. Who's he see under pressure from behind? Is that a back marker? Is that an actual? He's racing them for position. No, it's Gardner for position, isn't it? Oh no! It's speaking, not. speaking into existence, Bailey Kish, stop going thirty. Oh no! Good old speeding into the pits from Mr. Kish. Not ideal. Uh, Doug Lee and Diego both jump into the pits. Drag racing in a Lexus in an Aston Martin. Looks like the Aston. That inside line there is key, man. And then if you keep the you keep it tight through the apex, you really just close off the door to the car behind. We are all three through. Yeah, it's keep pushing. incredibly difficult to make a clean move through there. The wet for sure. Uh, this is interesting. Walker had pitted out of the lead earlier than anticipated. He's now running the P8. He's stuck behind Mr. Mike Scott. And every car in front of him needs to pit. So. He has a look up the inside, but he's just nowhere near. Ah, this is this this might spell trouble. This is questionable strategy. You see the Ferrari? Oof. Big oof. Plan E sized oof. <laughs> oh, he keeps oh. it tight. A oh, tight move on the outside, but it's respectful. They're clean. You have the race yeah, lead up like might not be yours. Because there are no blue flags involved in the situation. I would not be racing this type. Oh my Honda power. That's the Honda versus Aston in low gears. Look at that gap he just That's pulled. Hard. Oh god, you're right. <laughs> I'm blind. The McLarens do have an advantage here in the wet in that their power is very peaky. You get all that power at 6,000 RPMs. So it helps maintain the traction in the wet. You blow your tires off like the Lexus. Lexi. Trademark the Lexi. That's ours to use. Alright, who's he got next? Jason Allen just went in the pit, so he doesn't have to worry about him. He's Four got... and a half behind Ficker. Still has... No, he's two. Two seconds behind Ficker. Two seconds behind Ficker. Correct. And then has Should a huge catch. gap behind him. So. Yeah, yeah. Nothing to worry about behind, so he's just hot lapping for a little bit. He should catch Ficker in about a lap. Right, when Ficker's um, be diving in the pits. Ah, that's true. That's true. Okay, so he won't have to worry about 
thicker necessarily. He's effective race leader. Everyone in front of him had to dive in the pits, and the combined gap is about say 25 seconds or so. Or Although I'd be interested to see where Peter comes out. Um, I want to let me let me look at pit times real quick and see how he did. He wasn't the fastest pit stop in the world, but it was decent. I'd say he lost a couple seconds off of the optimal pit time. As Reynolds um, dives into the pits now, so we'll right. back to the and see where he comes out. I kind of doubt he lost enough time behind Scott, Mike Scott to uh, make a difference in the race lead here, but we will Eight see. Eight seconds ahead. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, he'll likely come out in front. Peter could have stayed out. Could have gone for another lap. But alas. Russell also dives into the of the Ferrari. Oh, Aston. Aston going wide there. Uh, Walker coming down the main straight, which we're back with Reynolds. He's coming out of the pit exit now, and there goes Walker. Walker just blows by him. Start the timers, people. This is an interesting uh, pit exit because it exits out onto uh, turn, what was that, three? Yes. And you can't turn off the pit limiter until a mile down the pit straight. Yeah, so it's kind of it's kind of deceiving um, seeing people go past you on the, uh, the start-finish straight there. So, uh, Peter comes out, what, seven seconds behind Walker? Down, about six tenths. Oh, no. Big hit in the pit. Big hit in the pit. Uh, it was a light hit, but just in a terrible spot. It so looks like, uh... Hard, no? Did he? Oh, there goes Oh, no, you're right. You're right. Oh, no. That's a tough spot. You're already at the limited traction there, and getting hit at all is just not good at all. Oh. Two plenty Ferraris going side by side. But not side by side, we're going one by one side. Mason Allen and Diego Navarro. Plenty believes in team members that we know side by side based on plenty races. Plenty's running some good good races here in D2. Not dominant, but pretty good. Pretty Very good stuff. Very yep. Four out of four out of the top ten are plenty. Take that any day. If you look at the closest battle on track, Wagner put up behind Beach. I'm getting Hartman who's got to run on Botella too. Oh, oh, Botella Wagner. just gave him the spot. What just happened? Oh, damn it. We even know he's now closed. So, Wagner is in P7 right now, but he didn't he, he snag that P3 from, uh... From right. God, who was he fighting? Reynolds and Russell Allen. And Russell Allen. Yeah. Three. So, so Wagner must have had a poor hit or something. I'm not remembering what exactly happened. Oh, you're right. Uh, yeah, he did have a pretty, pretty rough pit. He had a. It was about five seconds longer than it should have been. Um, but that still put him further behind than I would have thought. Huh. Well, we'll see how it develops. No, actually, that that about that makes sense. Yeah, that gap to Russell amounts to about five seconds. Huh. Interesting. The importance of pitting, people. That that cost Mr. Wagner three positions. This is very overload. But it's just free time if it you is. can execute. I, oh, yeah. I definitely haven't lost a race because I had a poor pit. That definitely has never happened. Ever. Vietnam flashback. Oh man. Now Wagner, at top of being positioned back, positioned back is one thing, but the further you are back, the more likely you are to get caught up in the incident by the nature of being around cars. Certainly a way to look at it. He's, uh, he's got a good pace, no though. Prisoners. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Especially in the early stages of this race. Stewarding team can have a long night. Last night was real easy, but uh, just from this race alone, we're going to have our work cut out for sure. Yeah. 
I said I was going to the pub after this race, and uh, I'm gonna have to make it quick. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be a long night. Is that trip to the pub just for food, or are you gonna go hang out? Oh, I was gonna sit and have a few drinks and kind of hang out for a bit, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Jason Allen makes a move on Dan Cran. He pulled him off into his next corner, though. Is a hairpin? Not a hairpin. Oh, six seven or five six seven. Like he keeps on, he holds on to it, and that's that's that. Yeah, yep. no, he got a better run out of that corner. Dan Grant hit be, those sausage curves. Yeah. Jason's back to sticking with Diego Navarro. Pulling Chelsea in the chat. What's up? It's Chelsea. Welcome to the Wagner. stream. Did you Wagner still fighting? At this point, Wagner knows he's lost multiple positions due to whatever may have happened in the pits or out on the track. I mean, it has to be driving with some frustration. Yeah, he's yeah. got, he's all over the back of that BMW. He's got the pace. He's got the pace to be further up, but he's just got to figure out tail a little where bit. to get it done. Oh, is that I Kovach going wide? Letting cars through? No, it's the Tufa. Had a yellow flag. And Sawyer going, trying to go around the outside. Long to trying to go out around the outside of Sawyer. Oh, getting close there. No oh, Audi power. I thought they nerfed that. Super tight racing. And Still getting close. Audi gets through turn 10, and then in the straight line, that V10 is just gonna walk the Aston Martin. The Audi kind of held the. Uh, he kind of he stayed alongside the Aston throughout the corner, and then once they, once it was a straight drag race, then he just wins out easy. Played to his advantage. He pulls five car lengths, it looks like. Queso and Jeffrey still fighting. I feel like these two have been fighting since lap three. Michi getting a drive through as soon as I jump over. Or jump oh, no away. Way. Yeah. Wagner now oh. probably in his head, very relieved. Oh man, that's tragic for Michi. Comic Racing taking a hit here with the drive through. if he'll serve it this lap or so what's what's the strategy on serving penalties do it as soon as possible try to keep putting laps out do it at the end um i mean they only give you three laps to do it unless it's a stop go 30 in which case i think you only get one lap but uh, obviously we're talking about a drive through here so i i don't know it's it's the difference between Doing it on the first of three laps and the last of three laps is like not not that significant. So <laughs> looks like uh, Michi's doing it now. So yeah, it the pits. oh, the bumps the wall for good measure. Doesn't get to fix that either because he's just you know driving through. Wagner now a second behind uh, Doug Lee from before, trying to get back to his uh, quote unquote rifle position. Yeah, this has become the Nick, the Wagner recovery drive. P3 still in sight because uh, oh I, easy he's just two seconds off yeah he, he can probably see the red of the planey e Ferrari through the corners ahead of him yeah definitely yeah, he's just gotta figure out where to plant one on Mr. Doug Lee ahead of him join the noise of that Lexus going down straight Michi coming out of P14, falling from Ooh. P5 to P14. F, F's in the chat. That hurts. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, Jason Allen and Dan Cran still fighting. Dan Cran getting close, man. He's not letting it. Jason forget that he's there. Knowing Jason, I'm sure he's hyper aware of the Lexus right up the butt. Jason's probably panicking a little bit right now. K 
careful in the braking zone, guys. And it looks like Dan Cran hits the brakes a little bit early just to be safe or even lifts. And this fight will live to see another day. Jump to Jeffries and Queso right on top of each other. They both go a little wide. Jeffries getting the move done on Queso right before we hopped over. Oh, Kovac from behind. Set, trying to stick it up the inside. No go, no showing. I really like that about Kovac in the Porsche. Like, he stuck his nose in and got spun for it early, but it hasn't stopped him from being aggressive in the drive, trying to make the moves. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that he's in P13 right now. It's impressive. All the while, the rain has not ceased. It's very not consistent. a bit. We've had a consistent level of wetness. I don't even know. I mean, there's a light dry line, not, or drier line. Um, you guys can see on screen, but it's not... It doesn't feel ideal, I'll say. Certainly not. Uh, we have... Let's see. Kovacs gets a better exit, but this Porsche engine might be dirty again. Seen a couple times. How we can see how they're going down. Oh, sticks up the inside. Don't forget that inside line is dominant here, and it shows. Speaking is that Michi that slips through? Yes, it on is. The inside. I'm trying to see. Oh, it's not over yet, but oh, he he okay, so gets gift out of position it. almost. Case is coming back a little bit. Case have decided to live to fight another day, and that day is now coming down the straight. Will the Porsche hold out here? The Porsche is lucky because he has someone pressuring the BMW behind him, and the BMW isn't exactly the world's fastest car in a straight line. Um, actually, it looks like the BMW is applying more pressure than the Honda is to the BMW. Jump over to Dugley and Wagner right behind each other for P4. With uh, P3 inside for both of them still. I will say that the rain has been consistent, but it hasn't been crazy to the point where the spray is making the car really difficult to place. Well, I mean, why don't you, why don't you go on board with Doug Lee, or, sorry, uh, Wagner, Nick Wagner, and see what it looks like uh, following that closely. Yeah, it's not absurd. How about cockpit view? Well, that's just a stallion of a driver right there. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Alright, so it's not too bad. Yeah. The D4 race is legitimately almost undrivable. You could not see. Cran had a peek up the inside of Jason Allen and decides better of it. Looking at the uh, the race statistics here, biggest gainers, biggest losers. Um, it's looking like Jason Allen, 12 positions gained, hell of a race for him. Mr. Damiani, 15 positions gained, that's kind of nutty. Uh, Mr. Mike Scott, 13 positions gained. A little bit further down the field we have Fire Queso on flow and Polly Hartman with 11, 13, and 10 positions gained. Um, God, it looks like... There must have been a lot of retirements. Do you I recall how many we started with? I can get that information for you right now. Um, it was more than 40, and we only have 36 drivers left. It was 41. No, it was 41, drivers. so we had five drivers retire. Um, big a little loose on the exit, but managed to keep it together. That BMW is still pushing them through the corners. Jay Lee and Crown all losing out pretty heavy here tonight. They're currently sitting at the back of the field. Yellow flag, because we have a Mercedes who seems to have lost on the exit of the corner. Completely self included. No cars around, no damage done. That 
Carl Fredrickson right behind him? Yes, yes it is. Oh, we have an off. Flag. Spins it whoa. in turn six. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened there? Probably too, too late to tell, huh? Yes. Uh, for no the sweat. Number, Dan Cran finally gets past Jason Allen. Jason Allen, Shania Twain, War Up music really paying off here. I, I would agree. <laughs> I don't know what else it would be, but I'm, I'm hoping he holds on to this and this would be a good result for him. We have a uh, someone in the pits. That's Matt Morrison. It looks like this might be a race over. Might be. Unless he decides to go out again. But uh, we have a second car in the pits. If you see that, Ooh, I don't know who that Lexus. is. Curtis Lee might be calling it quits as well. Lexuses. Lexi. Two Lexi in the pits, just you know, flashing their lights. Oh, Curtis is having a drive through. Ooh. That's tough. That's tough. That is tough. And even tougher up here at the front. Doug Lee did get passed by Nick Wagner, so. Only one more spot for Wagner to find to get back to his podium spot. Just 1.2 seconds back from Russell Allen ahead coming down the back straight. We have, the God, the gaps The gaps up top are huge. We have from P1 to P2 is a 13 second gap and from P2 to P3 is 17 seconds. So we have a 30 second spread of the top three cars. That's unbelievable. I don't know if we chalk that up to practice Some or matchmaking there. Great equalizer. Go back into our SR rating and make some adjustments. This is, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, statistically speaking, you're never always going to get it right. But this is, uh, this Masano is what Albert Walker. Masano Merchant. Merchant of Madness. We on Kovac on Jeffries. Yes, sir. These two been glued to each other the entire time. Yeah, Michi right behind them, half a second, and they've been fighting since as long for as long as Michi uh, had that incident that sent down the order. Actually, Kovac has quite a just four seconds to Jeffries ahead, so my my mistake there. Jeffries has driven away. He's almost into the top ten spot. He's about two and a half seconds off of Mike Scott, fellow Aston driver. Scott running in clean air. Jeffrey's also running in clean air. But pretty much the majority of the field is running in clean air. I think the only the closest fight is Michi and Kovac at the moment. Sure, and Wagner and uh, Russell Allen right here from P3 within half a second of each other. Oh, true, true. The high stakes battle. Nine minutes left, plenty of time, plenty of time. You just gotta camp his bumper, hope he makes a mistake. If he doesn't make a mistake, then start. Start uh, having, having, or showing some aggression. If we see some donations in the stream, I might grab a certain Ferrari colored uh, blue GTP car. Uh, make some things happen. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> Give us this podium. <laughs> Give us these two podiums. Oh, yeah, Although, you're right. I would love to see Alexis on the podium. That would be freaking sweet. But is there a reason Mr. Reynolds isn't running the uh, the standard Plant E Racing livery? He's a lone wolf. He is a solo operator. Fair enough. He is uh, he's the Plan E mercenary. He operates under no flag. <laughs> as long as the contract checks you coming in, he will fly under the banner. Hell yeah, and we do pay him well. And by well, I mean we pay him nothing. <laughs> Not even the coat. It's unfortunate. Mitch and Kovac still right up on each other. Coke of the family friendly variety. Whoa! Kind of sus. 
we're on from picture to picture. Uh, can Cheniac just let Molyneux through? I don't understand why that's the case. I guess Penchiniac's fine with giving people positions, but... I get it in an endurance race. Uh, not so much here. A very interesting decision-making there from Penchiniac, but... Yeah, I don't... I don't understand. Penchiniac... He's being shown blue flags. What is going on? Uh, someone's in the pits. Drive to the penalty. Johnson. Let's to get a drive to the last, the last eight or so. Highly unfortunate. As Wagner is now within four tenths of Russell Allen, right on his bumper for the podium position. Oh, is that the race? So Pencheniak was showing blue flags for Walker who was actually two cars behind him. I think he got confused and thought Molyneux oh, was coming to it. Uh, yes. So he let through a car for position when he thought it was for blue flags. That is, that is unfortunate. Now we're seeing Molyneux pull over for the race leader, Mr. Walker. Probably with a very quick thank you way of getting him in position. Yeah. Wagner now two tenths off. Russell Allen, Ron, Rivera. Russell Allen, Allen pass. Sean. Yeah, well, when you got Russell in front, man, showing 100% complete composure. Absolutely no mistakes to be made. Zero error. He has been driving like there's actually not a car behind him. Hitting his lines, driving, staying on the relatively dry line, doing his thing. Uh, yellow oh. flag behind Dan Cran. Looks like there's oh, a Dan Cran and Mike Scott. Mike Scott. Just for a second, off got track. thrown up. Tufo off track. Do you have a spin? Must have. Ay, ay, ay. I imagine we just still fight. Yeah, they are tight. This feels like the, uh, the Harry Potter meme where it's like, why is it always you three? Why is it always you two? <laughs> Michi, uh, Michi's definitely got a little bit of pace on Kovac, I think. Is he going to send it in in one of these corners and get it done? We'll have to see. Oh, it's Kovac this goes wide. This oh, might be it. Kovac this might be it. On the inside, kind of veered out a little bit. It's going to compromise it from here. Very wide. Yep. Yep. Michi has a half decent run, but it looks like Kovac needs to pick the inside line here, and he should be all right, but he's going to leave the inside open for Michi to sneak in. And sure enough, Michi takes it, that inside line, man, I'm telling you. The Porsche's nose is still on the inside for 9 Oh, yeah. This isn't over. This is not over. Late on the brakes for Michi. Maybe early for Kovac. Oh, but Kovac gets ahead Whoa. at the apex. Get the elbows Bumps out. good measure. And we're uh, back in a straight line again. Oh, Kovac actually pulls over and gives the spot back. Very respectable, but boo. It's a little dirty, but it that's hard racing. I think it's it's to be expected in the wet. Yeah. I'm not sure if I would have given that back, but I that is respectable. I would not have given that back. I would put it in the hands of the stewards and make them make a decision. So they want about basketball I, coaches to tell me. Force the refs to do something. You'll win sometimes. Yep. At worst, ask for forgiveness and not for permission. Russell Allen maintaining the three times gap. Call it donating uh, subs in the chat.
cat says the lead, we can barely hear you. Although I was just hearing you inhaling your mic. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I keep moving my mic closer and closer to my mouth, but I, I, I'm not sure what, what can be done there. So there it is. Welcome to SRA breathing exercises. <laughs> Led by Waleed Sadat. Listen, funny story about breathing. Uh, just, uh, I, I swam competitively for a decade, and I got into a car accident a couple years ago. The stream died. What happened in the stream? Shit. What the fuck? Oh, oh now it's back. We're good. Are we oh. back? Stream down, stream up. I don't. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, it went we down. Are. That oh. was really strange. We're back. Okay, had, we're back. We're back. I had to what the hell? refresh the stream. Nothing strange. Also, it's a connection uh, issue. I blame the rain, honestly. I see yellow fly from Molyneux, who seems to have spun it on their own accord. We have Nick Wagner. He's two tenths within Russell Allen. I think. Can we put the camera on him? It looks like he's going to try to get something done here. Tom is running he's out. All over the back of Russell here. Oh, you don't get much closer than this. He's gaining, he's gaining, he's gaining. I think he goes for a dive on the inside, maybe the outside, I don't know. He's, he's trying to pick a line, he's not sure, he's not sure, he's going wide. Russell is parking it in the middle, just where he needs to be. Going into the hairpin of Sector 3, this turn sucks, I keep saying it, I will never stop saying it, I hate it. Um, it's such a patient turn, it's so obnoxious. You have to it wait is. and wait and wait and wait. Drive through for uh, Patella down at P17. Russell's going to stay ahead. But he has to hold it off, hold, fight it off for another lap. God, Nick has nowhere, nowhere to pass. <laughs> holds it through one, holds it through two. This is for all the marbles. And by all the marbles, I mean the last third of the marbles. <laughs> The smallest third of the marbles. This is for the small portion of marbles. <laughs> Doesn't get the run onto the straight that he's going to need. Lex is fast. It's not that much faster than the Ferrari. Although... Uh, if Russell stays defensive, there's not going to be much there for him. Yeah, Russell, and he does. Russell does not adjust his line. Just stays where he needs to be. Takes the inside. Could have taken the inside there. But, alas... Russell's going to roll into the inside for turn 10. Mighty close, picking all the right spots. Oh, Wagner's going to pinch him down. Trying to keep that Ferrari inside. Oh, Wagner no. Oh, oh, we got a good no. run. Oh, oh no. let's no. get it. This is going to be spicy. We're wheel to wheel. Drag race even. coming down the back straight. Oh, Russell's oh, still geez. there. Russell's still there. That's brave, We're keeping it up the inside. Wolf. Oh, what a move. Oh, Russell back. sticks it, but switch he goes back. to the switch back into the shitty hairpin. <laughs> oh, it looks oh, like might be it. stuck the move. Oof. Where was that the last few laps? Why did I have to wait for the last lap? Because he's, he's a showman. That makes sense. That makes sense. He knew. He he's understood the assignment. He's an absolute showman. Congratulations wow. to Nick Wagner. What a move. In that last podium spot in the third sector of the last lap. Good stuff. So what had, a move. Uh, Chat saying move the of the race. week. Move of the season. Damn. Yeah. So we jump back. Dan Cran is three tenths behind. No, Diego will not pass. Looks like everyone's kind of holding their order. Uh, Mike Scott and his Aston uncontested. Jeffries has a couple cars behind him, but should come across the line. Again, uncontested. Although after what we just watched, I feel like all these are going to be a little more. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Michi got his drive through. He finished P12. Uh, Kovac had a pretty excellent race, P13. Um, who else we see in here? Actually, all these guys actually had really... They gained a lot of positions these races. We got a yellow flag on Matea. Yep, Matella. He's in second threes. Held together, but he does have a stop go thirty to his name. So, G G's, that's a that's a bad taste to leave in your mouth uh, for the end of the race. That actually is everyone finished except for Patella coming across the line now. Dehi in the chat saying he hopped in to see a great move. Glad you could make it for that part, not the uh, 
the disconnections and the stream crashes. Yeah, we're gonna forget about that. <laughs> uh, but that was good stuff. Good stuff from Mr. Wagner. And congrats to Walker and Reynolds for for scoring the race win in the P2. What a race. What a race. Had everything. Last lap drama, scenes, casualties, the works. A dominant race from the race leader. Not sure what more we could ask for. I think... Uh, I think we should look for our our podium finishers in Discord here and see if we can get any comments from them. I'll have a look for Walker. If I don't see Walker, I'm going straight for Peter. If I don't see Peter, we're going for fan favorite Nick Wagner. Where are you, sir? Pointed out in the chat, great race for Plan E Racing. Four of the top eight. Absolutely phenomenal showing. Shout out to Dehi in chat. Oh, we got Wagner and Pete in the cooldown room. Who do you guys want to pull in first? Uh, let's go reverse. Let's go uh, Wagner from P3 and we'll go up the, go up the podium after. All right. Enter Mr. Nick Wagner. Hello. How's it going? Dude. You tell us. What a move. What a lap. I'm hyped, dude. That was nuts. That was such good racing. It was, I mean, the whole race with Alan was really intense, and then I lost quite a few spots during my pit because I didn't practice my pit entry, so I didn't know where the board was that was missing. But, uh, yeah, I just fought my way back to the front, and that last lap was just crazy, dude. How long were you yeah. planning up that move? Uh, there was a lap or two before that I was alongside of him, and I already knew that I, like, let off the gas and broke a little lighter, and I would always gain on him. So when he was up on the inside of me there, I knew he was going to try being a little more aggressive, so I just kept to my normal thing, and when I felt the car stick, I just threw it to the inside. That was honestly incredible. You have serious uh, steel down between the legs. That was uh, <laughs> I even for uh, a podium spot like that. I mean, I don't know if I would have sent it in as crazy as you did, but you kept it clean and good racing from the both of you guys to make that work without taking each other out. That was honestly one of the best moves I might have ever seen in the league. That was incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't have much more to say. It was just a crazy move, crazy lap, last sector, last lap. After a, a bit of a comeback drive, too, for you. Yep, got to get them where they count. Great race. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Party hard. Oh, I Cherish will. Cherish the night. <laughs> and uh, we will see you next week. Awesome. Thank you guys for all you do, and I'll see you next time. Alrighty. I uh, I don't see Walker anywhere in the chat, so uh, default to Mr. P3 Peter for comment. Let's uh, let's get P2 Pete in Peter. here. Oh, you're right. P2 Peter Wagner was P3. Okay, I can't move Peter. What the heck is this? There we go. There we go. Hello. Hello. So, Dirty yeah. Pete. Green light. Go go go. Uh, Absolute great race from you. It's uh, it's good to see you in here. You had that Ferrari dialed in. I mean, not much you could do against P1. He had it even more dialed. But you on the, the rest of the field behind you, you were just gone. Like, we didn't even catch you all that much because it just was so boring. I mean, how, how did you get off to such a great start? And, and how did you keep it so wide of a gap? Uh... Well, I, w I had pretty good pace all week, pretty confident in the car, um, but, you know, just chasing down Walker is like chasing down Max Verstappen, absolutely blazing pace from him, and rather uneventful race, as you said, I was mostly fighting the car and fighting other blue flags. Uneventful you know. for you, 
uh, there were some major lap one incidents. <laughs> right, right. But yeah, <laughs> I'm glad I started at the front so I didn't have to go through all that. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy I got a podium. Good race from uh, Plan E Racing. Sir, for the top eight. points. Plan E did great, and that quality session. Do you think that kind of worked out in your favor? It seemed like the rain was a little lighter for the silver class, and then the gold guys got a little bit tougher conditions out there. You think uh, think that had anything to do with that starting spot, or were you just a beast? Oh, definitely. The rain definitely helped, because uh, it rained all quality session, right? So the latter half's got to be more wet for the gold drivers, so... Yeah, we were joking and saying for once the silver class actually got better conditions for, <laughs> for quality. Yeah, know, right? Yeah. Uh, you definitely made it work, and congratulations. It feels good to have you in here for the uh, the podium interviews. So good work, Pete. We're all proud of you. Plan E's proud thank of you. you. Thank you. I'm going to go celebrate now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. yeah. Uh, all right. All right, do we uh, do we call it here, or do we reach out to one other for for a quote? Uh, is Mr. Jeffries available? I feel like there was a oh, demand. There was a demand from the chat. Let's give them what they want. Is there a demand from the chat? I don't see anything. There was earlier, although that might there have been was? just to get him into the podium spots. Okay. Well, regardless, let's uh. Let's pull him in. Let's see what he thinks. Koei, right. full caps, Jeffries. I hope I put him in the right. Oh, yeah. Okay, here he comes. Dr. Jeffries. Jeffries. Hello. Hey, what happened? Can we bother you for a, uh, a comment on the race? Absolutely. What were your thoughts, sir? Uh, well, I, I, I hate driving in the wet, so all in all, it, it went better than expected. I, I noticed there was a little bit of craziness on lap one. I had to do a lot of lot of bobbing, a lot of weaving. Not much apexing and T-rexing tonight, but a uh, fun race. Um, pretty clean as far as I could tell. There yeah, was after. definitely some mayhem early, but it, it definitely cooled down there at the end. We saw a... Uh, saw a crazy move up at the front but even further back a lot of guys battling bumper to bumper and uh we caught you on stream a little bit you put up oh, a good cool. fight it's uh probably not the result that we were looking for but um overall great race and uh yeah i had to pull you in here just to hear your voice you uh <laughs> chat demanded it, and uh for the record yeah. chat demanded it coach <laughs> coach jeffrey's academy is uh it's quite the company you got growing, so. Well, I, I appreciate the kind words, um, but like I said, uh, you know, big shout out to you know Mike Scott for that uh, Checo Perez level defending there at the end. Um, just it, like I said, as far as I could tell, everybody was doing doing a great job. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think. Uh, I think on that note, we can wrap up here. Yeah. We'll see everyone yeah. at uh, Snatterton next week. A track notorious for its lack of passing. Uh, hopefully we see something similar in the last lap as we did this race. That would be awesome. Alrighty, gents. It was a good stream. We'll catch you, uh, we'll catch you next Wednesday. Green light, green light. Go, go, go. Glad to the chat.
with paper hats.